Hey everyone, welcome to the What Do You Think podcast. I am Burger Buns, and I am with the Grand Poofarian. Oh yes, say we hello. are. Hello, yes. say hello, hello. We say hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. Uh, today we are gonna look into General Chaos for the Sega Genesis. And, oh, I uh, was playing um, General Chaos for the Sega Mega Drive. Wait, what did I say? Yeah, no, yeah, that's the same. Okay. <laughs> hey. I started thinking I said the wrong game name. I nope. was like, no, nope. you said Genesis. Yeah, no, you said Genesis. Uh, we don't have a yeah. Genesis here. That's true. Uh, I forgot that it was that was the only difference, right? It was just Americans called it the Genesis. Yes, it's just a name. Uh, I wonder why they did that. Yeah, it's just a name. I wonder why they did that, man. Because I guess my my first immediate thought was like, oh yeah, they do that because of the Bible. Well, because Mega Drive was something bad in the Bible. Yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> you know what? I bet you. I bet you when Sega went up to Vanilla Ice, it said, hey, what should we call it for the Americans? He's ice. Like, you know what? We're going to make it ice. They were like... Genesize. <laughs> Genesize. <laughs> That's how it started. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, General Chaos. Um, Mr. Burger Buns. You've got some explaining to do there, my friend. First of all, my dad was Mr. Burger Buns. <laughs> I thought it was Dr. Burger Buns. <laughs> oh, no, no. He's just Senor Burger Buns. Senor Burger it. Buns. <laughs> but, no, so yeah. uh, General Chaos, I don't remember how the crap I came across this game. I think it was, uh, I think it was, I rented it one time. <laughs> <laughs> For the people that, I mean, we, we have the webcams on so we can see each other. I'm uh, dying out of laughter here. <laughs> what did I do? You didn't do a thing besides, oh. like, I mean, you gave the title of General Chaos to us to play. And I, <laughs> first of all, you need to explain what kind of game it is. Because it's not a bad game. I'm, but, yeah. It's a... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a game. It's a game. There you and go. And that's the, that's the end. <laughs> that's we'll the see end. you all later. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. So, I think uh, I think what this came out as was I want to say it was an arcade release first because it feels very arcadey. It's not. Um, it does. You can you can beat it and then it says, hey, do you want to continue? And you can beat it fairly quickly. I think I beat it within like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can continue and then you just start all over again. Um, there is no difficulty, so to speak, that I remember. Uh, so, yeah, it just it loops and you keep playing it. And um, I don't want to say it's roguelike because you really don't carry anything over into the next game. There's nothing to pick up, not, no items or anything like that. But, um, yeah. Well, he's choking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, was I was trying to give you visual cues, like, hey, yes. say something, because I'm about to die. I, he's dying. Um, yeah, the, so... thing, the, the, the thing is, I love it that when <laughs> when I said, hey, you gotta explain what kind of game it is, you were like, it's a game, <laughs> it's arcadey, and uh, you can't continue. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody that, that knows what it, kind of game it is. <laughs> the game killed me, because, uh, yeah, no, so you select a group of uh, commandos, no, not commandos, of, uh, of military Well, you can, choose, you can choose a group of commandos. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing is, definitely a choice. The, the, the thing is, um, basically, it's like the blues against the reds, right? Yeah. There's two exactly. armies, a blue army and a red army. And I play it as a blue army. I'm not sure if that's the color you always play with. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you start the game. There's no. Yeah. Well, obviously, you start the game, uh, but you start each level. And I think there's about five or six levels in total. Um, uh, if you uh, if you go on the map, every little section is a battlefield. I don't know how many you got to play. Um, oh. but they, they are different. There's one with the helicopter I was trying to come across because it's one of my favorite levels. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but so the terrain matters uh, because if there's rivers, you obviously have to jump into the river. Any body of water, really, you jump into, you dive into it. Um, 
but yeah, so like we were going back to saying you can choose what kind of squadron you go out with. Exactly. Like, the five man teams, you get you get four teams to choose from and three of them have five units in them. Yes. And whenever you choose one of those, it's a point and click. Yes. Which is r really weird, uh, especially to do with the controller, you know, like back in 90, what, 93? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't look it up. Initial release yeah. date, 1993. And if you choose the commandos, though, way easier to control. You're actually moving around as a character. You can switch between, you know, the two guys. Um, but man, you get rolled so fast. Actually, I guess if you wanted to up the difficulty, you could just go as commandos every single time. I, and I'm not sure. Oh, go ahead. I didn't play as the commandos at all. I just chose, I believe it was the demolitionists. Oh, no. What? Yes. And uh, I had such a great time. <laughs> I actively avoid the demolition oh, really? team. I'm just like, nope. I, I got two grenadiers. Else. I got two, I don't know, rocket launchers and, and, and a guy with dynamite or something. Oh, you got the good one. I kept getting the two grenadiers and like the two guys that throw TNT and one rocket launcher. Oh, yeah, no, I got, I, I, I think I got two grenadiers, two... Well, RPG carriers and, and one dynamite yeah. buster. Um, oh, man. But yeah, the purpose yeah, no. of each level is obviously you got five. You got a squadron of five. Um, the opponent has a squadron of five as well. And he also picks a team. But since it's AI, it's like instantly. Um, and yeah. then you fight against each other, which reminded me a lot like cannon fodder. Oh, Someone. I don't know Cannon Fodder. Okay, well, that's uh, that's one for the list, then. <laughs> <laughs> you got to write that, that one down. down. <laughs> yes, we're not going to talk about Cannon Fodder now, but yeah, probably the visuals. Uh, but what I liked about, like what you said, if you choose one of the squadrons, it's a point-and-click thing, which is weird, mm -hmm. because you got you got that, that target thing that you have to move over the screen, yeah. And obviously the Genesis, aka the Mega Drive, it has three buttons, A, B, and C. And if I recall correctly, A is what moves your character. B is go ham on the enemy. Mm -hmm. And C is choose the next character that you can move. Yeah. So if you want to move a particular character, because he's standing in the line of fire, you have to click one through five times to get to him yeah it's <laughs> it's not and it, it oh boy it it sounds a little bit tedious when i when i explain it but when you play the game the level it's constant chaos that's why probably the game is called general chaos yeah because... oh dude so i noticed once where if you so if you grab your cursor and you tell a guy where to go yeah um it'll automatically switch to the next one it's like okay yes. where do you want this guy to go and so i just like there was a couple of times there was a couple of times where i just panic click and i was like <laughs> oh, no, 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 just move just go they're throwing grenades get the hell out of there man well that was my strategy basically like click 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 click, click, click. and then just start shooting yeah yeah, and, I think and, that's what I did most of the time, too. Yeah, and you get one or two medics, which means that you can revive a fallen soldier. And every 10k points, you get another medic. But hey, nobody looks at the score, so I don't know how many medics I got. <laughs> it's just they kept on going. It's so I was going to say, I, know, I never knew about the 10k point thing, <laughs> but now I know, you know, what, freaking 30 some odd years later. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, but I but really, yeah. I mean, obviously, I went in blind. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so what do you think going in blind? Like overall, because I mean, we've talked about the gameplay, which is the main point here, because yes. sound and music don't really go anywhere. Nope. You know, there's no <laughs> online play. There's one track for the whole game that's on the menu system. Oh, you know, that's a lie. There's two tracks. There's a failure track if you lose a battle. That's not I bad. But what did, did you think about did, it? I did fail once. Well, I, I hopped in the game and um, I was a Nintendo kid growing up, a Nintendo and PC mm -hmm. kid growing up. So I missed out on a lot of Sega games and uh, I was preparing for the worst. Well, not really, because there's not just, I mean, there's just a handful of bad games, but I, I hopped in, I saw the screen and some, some sort of small introduction started 
And it yeah. brought me straight back to the uh, to the early '90s, and I was like, okay, what am I going? Uh, what what does this all mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, luckily, I did do the tutorial levels, like the explanation, because if I didn't, I wouldn't have a clue on one what is going on and two how to control the soldiers. So I did that first. I played for, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes of tutorial. Um, they explain everything. And then you hop into a battle. And when that started, I was like, okay, this is confusing. I'm, I, I probably end up playing two less materials for the, for the podcast. But I kept on winning. And before I knew it, I was like, okay, I almost, I think I, I stopped it around 20 minutes or something. I'm almost at the 20 minute mark. I really need to, you know, close this down. And then I finished the game. Yeah. Nice. And I was like, what? See? I finished, I finished the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, it's, uh. I, I forgot about that train level altogether um, because it shows you like the distance and how far how far you can be from uh, from each different unit that you can yes. play as and yeah that's that's actually super helpful I'm trying to remember if games really they, well no they didn't they really didn't have tutorials back then did they well sometimes what they did especially with the arcade games was like if you if you didn't press start at the menu. It it showed a um, especially the Konami beat em ups. I can recall that very very freshly. They told you exactly what every button did. So you got a small tutorial video uh, yeah. where they explained like, hey, uh, use your joystick and then you can walk. Use this button to punch. Use that button to jump, etc. Um, not a lot of games had a tutorial level or tutorial option like this one because mm. this was definitely an option in the menu you had to choose to to get the explanation from the game yeah. but the games that did have an explanation usually worked in the form of like i said a small video mm -hmm. uh, on that topic completely unrelated to this game super mario brothers 3 for the nes did that thing on the menu screen oh it did didn't it Whenever you're sitting there, you can you can just watch it, right? Yes. I mean, there will still be the one player, two player, whatever thingy going on there. But yeah. Mario is moving on that screen and it looks like, oh, this is funny. It's it's a moving image. But Mario is actually explaining you how the game works. You can jump on enemies. You can kick the shell. That. If you get hit by the shell, you will shrink again. It's That's what it does. It's the explanation yeah. on the menu screen. And NES did a really good job of uh, their games whenever they designed them. Uh, you would actually learn as you go. Um, they had to implement like stages, especially like with Mega Man. Uh, it gave you sections to where it taught you like, oh, this is how you, yeah, this is how you jump. I have to jump and then grab onto a ladder here. Okay, cool. And then it just sets you up for the rest of the game. Exactly. And yeah. if you fail on that section, no harm done, because there was also yeah. a, always a safety net. But the next room, they removed the safety net. Yep, that's that's a good point. Yeah, and I never realized that about Super Mario Three. And I think you even like it shows you getting the feather and whatnot. Yes. Or the feather. The yeah. the Tanuki leaf. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, holy crap. So coming back to this game, knowing this, having this knowledge of the how Nintendo implements tutorial gameplay, so to speak, this game doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. And it's funny because I haven't played it I haven't played it in a couple of years and I completely went past it and I was just like, nope, let's just go. One player, go, jump in, choose a map, go. And then I sat there like uh, uh, oh no, I remember this. I got a five man team. Ah, okay, let's go. Just panic click and then start mashing the A button to start attacking. Yeah. yeah. I also yeah, noticed that you could pick things up, by the way. There were certain items laying mm -hmm. around. What did yeah, they do? Um, 
So I rem there is one that you can pick up that is uh, it just gives you points. It's like a pile of cannonballs. Oh. And then there's another. It's like a, a messenger bag, and you see like rolls of paper. I can't remember if that's extra medics or if that gives you uh, planned out details and it gives you an advantage of where to strike next. And I think uh, I think it's like a time advantage. I need to look that up because I don't know if that was just for points or if it was like an actual advantage. Well, the only thing I noticed that you could pick things up like bullets um health banks probably that's probably the, the extra medic uh, different kind of probably, stuff that you yeah. can pick up um but with the chaos it's you don't know what the hell is going on i just kept pressing b and when i saw someone dying i was like okay i gotta switch to that person and put him behind this piece of concrete because they do hide they, yeah. they take defensive stances if there's something they can, they can hide behind. And then I just, you know, spammed the B button, hoping they could hit anything at yeah. all. And um, I always got lucky enough that I had three to four members left and they still had one left. And um, yeah, crush, kill and destroy, so to speak. Yeah, pretty much, man. Um... No, oh, there was one thing and I lost it. I had it. Oh, no. I lost it. oh, there was one level to where uh, you could, there was a safe on the battlefield and you could uh, take one of your guys that chucks like TNT or a bazooka, uh, a guy with a bazooka and you could shoot it and open it up and it would like, it would spit out uh, bars of gold. And I saw that, but it's like you said, like I saw it on the field but when you have five other guys all running around trying to kill you, yes. I was like, there's the safe. Oh, no, wait a <laughs> second, there's the other team. And, dude, like, by the time I remembered it, I remember, like, I was sitting there like, yeah, I got two guys left alive and I won. Oh, there's the safe. Uh, all right, well, missed that opportunity. Like, yep. Next yeah, time. once you get in there, it's uh, it, it really is chaos. But It's, it's a weird combination of fast-paced action yeah. and not because yeah. it doesn't feel fast paced if you if you look at it from a distance but if you're playing it five <laughs> soldiers you, you need to control all five of them individually yeah and it and can, otherwise it feels random <laughs> it feels like you're controlling <laughs> them at random yeah, yeah, because I always like uh, when I get them out of order after you start initially, I start playing and I'm just thinking like, oh crap, that guy over in the top right hand corner is down. Uh, next, it's like, what? Next, 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 next. And it finally gets to him. I'm like, yeah. And then I hit next one too many times. It goes yes. to the next guy. I was like, son of a bitch. Catch. It's like Zelda with <laughs> the stupid owl telling you a story. And then yeah. he's like, hey, you want to hear it again? And, you know, the cursor is on yes. So you click yeah. once more, and then he goes again. Okay, hey, listen up. Here's a story about how my life got flipped turned upside down. <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. Just sit right there. Yes, exactly. Uh, I came to be a freaking out with a long ass tutorial. <laughs> So many times, and he's cool with it too. He's like, "Yeah, I'll spit out that ten minute I'll message again. Here, check it out." Yeah, but he has no qualms with that. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, you you click you click the button one too many times, you go right past the character you need. That guy dies. You have to run over there and like you have to move the cursor over him yes. and click you know medic. To medic. But see, I kind of I kind of want you to do the the commando thing because it's just hard as hell. Oh really? It's difficult because you only have it's, two. Well, you only have two. You can run like okay, so you control one guy and you move him across the battlefield. Yeah. And if you hit, if you hit B, I think it's B. Uh, you you'll call the other guy to that location as you run by, so you can move uh, him without switching. But and then is, you just spam the attack button. Is the other one? Is the other person that you're not controlling also attacking at the same time? Once you press yes. the attack button, okay. Because what yeah. I what I did. Notice is that the commandos do they do do they attack with a distance or is it like knife fights? Um, both. So it depends on who they give you. 
Ah, I see. Because talking about hand to hand combat, we haven't talked about hand to hand combat. There is <laughs> yeah. hand to hand combat in this game. So whenever you are fighting, you occasionally see a cloud of dust with hands sticking out of it. <laughs> and yeah, stars popping out. <laughs> yes. And you just hear a muffled. <laughs> You're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's so cartoony. But, <laughs> but then after a few seconds, the dust settles. Oh. And they're actually standing in front of each other, fist fighting. So you yeah. have the, the button suddenly change into a punch button, a, a kick button, and a block button. So A is punch, B is kick, and C is blocking. And mm. you basically have to punch the other, the other dude in the face. And there's balls on top. Mm -hmm. which are your health indicators and uh basically it becomes prince of persia the first one you have to you have to punch him in the face then he loses one health point and the, some of them oh, did you come across them oh. uh, all the time all the time once an enemy there's a chance i need to calm down right now <laughs> there's a yes. chance i'm so glad because i didn't and oh, i wanted to my god there's a chance <laughs> that if you punch or kick the enemy up until his last health unit they just grab a gun and shoot you through the face yeah and you yeah, die it's... you lose god, dude they'll like they'll faint they're like, oh no, and they'll fall back and they're laying on the ground and then you see them pull out a pistol and just pop. Bang. <laughs> it's like, you little shit. <laughs> yes, that happened a couple of times. I was like, this Dude. is so unfair. Yeah. I was yeah, winning. And I don't know, I don't know what, um, I don't know what triggers that because I can't, I was in so many fist fights and that never happened and it really ticked me off because that's the one thing I remember. I'm just like, oh, it might happen. It might happen. Yeah. Oh, but it didn't happen. There's nothing you can do against it. Yeah. I was like, what yeah, is it timed? Them. Did did I did I punch him too fast? Should I be on a similar health level? So I got kicked yeah, and punched yeah. a couple of times uh, until we both reached like two points and then I finished him off. It still happened. Yeah. So I was like, Dang. is it is it something that do I need to punch him faster when he reaches his, his final point? yeah didn't matter didn't matter no it's dude completely random it's, i think uh, yeah no i think it is i haven't come across any kind of information on because i think like so the game developers are game refuge and i followed them for a while the only other game that i know that they made that was popular was rampage oh um they they did the in 64 version and i think the sega version and the arcade version for the people they have for the people listening rampage is is the game that's based upon the movie with dwayne the rock johnson in it <laughs> and i'm pretty sure uh vanilla ice was in there somewhere as a cameo i don't remember i haven't watched it in a little while <laughs> he's probably but yeah the one in the lizzie suit <laughs> yeah I'm so sorry, Mr. Ice. We had to have you like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But uh, but yeah, so there's not a whole lot of information available that I can find um, to figure out like small stuff like that. Like, yeah, what triggers what triggers that? How do you get into a fist fight? Because you don't get into a fist fight all the time. It's random. Yeah, uh, it's all random. So I, I'm guessing it's just random, but I just I like knowing stuff like that, like, you know, yeah how did y'all how, how did you, you do that like what was yes. the design yeah yeah so yeah it's a really cool game i almost completely forgot about the stupid fist fights because uh <laughs> i noticed one thing one thing i would always do is like like you said so you can punch kick and block yes and depending on if you hold up if you don't hold anything or if you hold down you'll punch him in the face punch him in the gut or punch him in the nuts did you know that i i are you just Telling me that there's some sort of Street Fighter thing going on in the fist yeah, fights in General Chaos? I <laughs> yes, did not know. Is. You can kick to the head. You can <laughs> kick to the shins. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or you can just, you know, you know sidekick to the midsection. But I noticed, like, one thing I would always do is just, like, screw it. I'm just going to do nut shots the whole time. Just keep <laughs> pegging them and punching them in the nuts. Maybe that's works. why they never shot you. 
Maybe that's, that's the whole ordeal. Why. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. The, the guy has been punching into oh, my man. testicles for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I, I read a die gun. right now. <laughs> yeah. Just, just let me be. Just yeah, let, no, let me there is a... There's that aspect to the fighting system. It's a weird little game, man. Like, I don't know what to call this game because it's not action adventure. It's not RTS. Not really. No. Well, it's. Um, I think it's an action strategy kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. That makes I just sense. made it up. No, it's a new thing now. We it's gotta. Canada. We gotta call video. Yeah. My dad works for video games. I'll call him and let him know. Your dad. Okay. My mine works for Blockbuster. Oh sweet! Yeah. <laughs> we should get together. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got a we got a million dollars on our hands now. Yeah, Blockbuster when it was still known as Netflix. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, uh, so. Yeah, maybe maybe he uh, knows the answer to uh, <laughs> to to the quirky little game. But no, in all seriousness, um, the game seems odd. Yeah, but it's it's. For for the game, for the time that it was made, it's a pretty in-depth game. Even though it's horribly shallow, there's so many depth in that shallowness that mm -hmm. the game actually it has a hard replayability factor, definitely. Yeah. You yeah, can keep um, on playing that game over and over and over again. And with other people is where I had the most fun. Uh, oh, you can play I, versus. Yeah, you can play two players and or you can play on the same team. If you play, if you, if like me and you played on the same team, we would be commandos all the time. Ah, so there's and no squadron there? One. Nope. Um, or we could fight each other and we would both control a five man squad on the mm -hmm. same screen. And uh, dude, that's where it gets. Oh, it gets, in my opinion, way more fun. Yeah, um, I can imagine. Because you know, you're you're two people, especially if you're fighting against each other. You know what the other person's doing. And yeah. So it's uh, it's a lot harder. Um, God, man, it's so much fun. Or if you tell them, all right, look, we'll both choose the assault team and we'll both go at each other. It's like, all right, cool. It's it's a lot of fun. I lost a lot of nights and weekends with that game with buddies and family friends and it, it was a that was a blast like i remember i remember general chaos and road rush 3 like those are the ones we would alternate like every other weekend we would play those and um so every time i think of general chaos i think of road rush and, and vice versa but yeah like oh man when, when you get other people there that's where it really kicks in uh, like alone it's really good but with other people Dude, it's the it best. doubles the fun. Yeah, it, it oh so fast. It's so like a Pringle scan. Once you pop, you cannot stop. You cannot stop. You can't, and you need to eventually because you know you gotta you gotta watch your way to a certain extent. Pringles not included in this podcast. <laughs> but they could be but for a could. small price. Exactly. Mr. Pringles, you know us. how to reach us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't reach out to Mr. Ice and go get you, yeah. get you squared away. Mr. Ice can uh, can arrange uh, something here and there. <gasps> Frozen Pringles. Uh, I could do that. Is that a bad idea? Is that just ice at that point? Ice chips? Pringle flavored ice? <laughs> Pringle flavored ice. Just salty ice. <laughs> <laughs> Dep depends on what kind of flavor Pringles you want. It's true. Like, what happened, Mr. Ice? Well, Pringles wanted me to make it more ice. <laughs> so I did. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he broke me. That's where it's gone. That's, uh, uh, Pringles wanted me to make it more ice. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. How, how do we always come up with these awesome ideas? I don't know, but, you know... Somebody needs to pay us by this point. This is, uh, I forgot, I forgot how many episodes in we are now. Uh, too many. And not too many. Not too many. Not, Maybe not too, many. too many. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. It's, <laughs> it's the quality is, I mean, we, we put the bar <laughs> really high right now. <laughs> this, this is very hard to top. It's like the thing I, I like the most is when people are like, hey, have you heard about that podcast? What do you think? No, what is it about? 
Well, you know, they, uh, it's kind of hard to, they talk about video games, but they <laughs> don't. And somehow, Vanilla Ice is always involved. He's always there. He's a constant variable. It's something, uh, there's three things in life that are certain. It's like, you have to pay taxes, uh, mm -hmm. we all die, and Vanilla Ice is part of the podcast. Yeah, easily. Easily part of the podcast. He's uh, he's one of the essential members, and he doesn't even know it yet. He doesn't yet. even know it yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. He'll figure it out. We we should we Soon. should uh, add his um, his Twitter handle. <laughs> Mr. Ice. I'm okay with that. I would do it definitely. Yeah, we need to we need to find out his Twitter handle. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So to, to wrangle it back to the game real quick. Yes. Um, so, uh, as I was saying earlier, the the dev group Game Refuge they're a smaller group, um, but they did try to launch a Kickstarter of uh, years ago. Uh, I found them on Facebook. I was like, holy crap! Yeah, Game Refuge. They made General Chaos. This is fantastic. Um, and at that time, they were trying to get a Kickstarter going to see if they could make a sequel. I was about to say General Chaos Two. Yeah, I like, oh. and especially with modern systems, or even if you just went like just PC only. Yeah. Like, man, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, especially on PC, that's where it should be—point and click and yes. everything like that. You know. Um. So that was years ago. I joined their Facebook page uh, just to kind of keep up to date with them, and it it really was like a group of eight to twelve people, maybe. And uh, they were they were just working out of this small building, small little office space that they had. And God, yeah, they they made some other uh, some other some other like extreme extreme snowmobiling game and like a bowling game, but it was all like a uh, online PC like web page games. Extreme uh, snow bowling. Like, yeah, probably. It re whenever I looked at it, it kind of reminded me of like Club Penguin almost. Okay. <laughs> But oh they were still, they was, were still <laughs> had this at the heart. Like they were doing that to pay the bills, but they really wanted to make another mm. General Chaos game. Um, so I looked it up, and it looks like they fell short of their Kickstarter by a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, so it's just like, oh no, man. So that was it's us back in 2013, which sounds about right. Yeah. Um, that's when I remember seeing their page, and then yeah, it fell short. So that really sucks, but they are still around and they they did a, a small, not like cameo appearance, but they did go to the Rampage movie set Ah, and they didn't really get to influence anything. They just kind of got to like go around because, you know, they're part of the reason they're yeah, in that movie now. They're little child. No, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. They were there to take notes on how to create the game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what a, you mean, that's right? A, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Because, dude, Rampage is still a thing, right? The the game? I think so. Because that was on arcade. That was on Nintendo. I want to say that was on Sega. Maybe not. But that was on 64. It might be something for the podcast. It might be. With an orange right. sticker. So your name is on it. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Rampage. I'm pretty sure that there's a couple of listeners that that haven't heard of Rampage. Oh man, Rampage. Yeah. That's for another podcast. Exactly. And oh, we should def yeah, no. think think about a version because there's probably a Genesis version, pretty sure. Because the, a, the game was in all yeah. systems. Yeah, it was on PlayStation 1 even. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Oh. It was Rampage World Tour. Oh my god, that's was that a sequel or a reboot? Or was it Ooh. one of those, uh, hey, we, we have the 3D thing now, let's make it 3D? No, it was still 2D. Or 2.5D. It, it, it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was like a, it was like an up, updated port, pretty much. Um, oh yeah, but the other game I was thinking of, I, I told you it was like snowmobiles and stuff yes. like that. It's called Arctic Stud Poker Run. <laughs> By Game Refuge, the same people that made uh, General Chaos we, and we, Rampage. We need to. Um, I mean, That's do they still exist? Do they have a Twitter handle? 
Game Refuge? I believe they do. Oh. Um, oh man, you know what? Oh crap, I hope they do. I am yeah, super because stoked about that. we're going to send this link to them. Yes, we have to because man, I I love General Chaos. Crap, I wish I wish their uh, I wish their their Kickstarter got was still running. Fully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cuz gosh dang it. Dude. Or maybe it was such a good one. Maybe they it can is, uh, they can revive the Kickstarter. It would it would be such a great game right now. What if they released it on Steam? On Steam alone. I would say it's the right time. Yeah, it would be great. And I'm following them right now and I'm gonna throw them into the uh, into the chat real quick. But yeah, Game Refuge Inc. Go look them up on Twitter. They make some uh, they make some good games. Or at they least really they do. made some good games. <laughs> they they definitely did in the past, yes, at the very least. I, I cannot say and anything uh, about the future. You know, we're just hopeful for the future. So for the future um, of Game Refuge. Exactly. Uh, but turning back to the podcast itself, uh, mm -hmm. sponsored by the NEP Discord, as always. Oh, yeah. Next week is going to be a, a quote unquote special episode. Yes, it is. Shall, shall we, um, shall we, shall we release a little tip of the veil? Shall yeah, we I'm uncover a little bit of the sheet? Just kind of peek under the curtain. Shall we show some of the pubes? Yeah, I was going to say show some skin, but yes. Ch skin That's is always, inviting. always an option. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Those are optional. So next week, um, we're going to do a podcast with a guest. Mm -hmm. The lovely engine. And we're going to yes. talk about a game that I cannot tell the title of yet. But... No? No. Okay. Cl cliffhanger stuff. Um, oh, man, see, that's so smart. I, sometimes brains used. Batteries <laughs> not empty works. Definitely. Or included. Or, <laughs> or included, exactly. <laughs> no, Angie. Angie um, approached us. We, we um, basically we said on Discord, hey, is there anybody that wants to be a guest on our... <coughs> most famous podcast and she was like hey i got this game that you were playing too and i was like hey nick do you have the game and he's like no but i can but, learn about it yeah i know a I know a guy that may be releasing some videos of the game on his channel exactly yeah so uh maybe you know him i don't know I don't no, know, but right. we, we will see next week. Yeah. Uh, because we will talk about that that game. I was about to say beautiful game. It is a beautiful game. Um, but I'm gonna yeah. let Angie do the most of the talking with them because she's already taking notes on what to say. That game is oh, so insane. Good. She needs her time. <laughs> and see, it doesn't it doesn't look crazy on the outside. No. Well, looking at it, if you if you scratch cool the first layer off, yeah, you can definitely taste the insanity. It's like the Joker. He's crazy, but he makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, this game doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, so it's just crazy. And it's definitely crazy. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna find out next time what game we are talking about right now. And uh, I want to thank Burger Buns Gaming. Again, like last week, because yeah. he's an awesome co-host. Thank and, you. And um, I mean, I'm his co-host. Exactly. Which so, is you know, I want to I want to thank Grant before you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will see, or at least you guys will hear us next time. Yeah, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.